How's it going, neighbors? This is Ed here with eTrailer.com, and we're taking a look at the Swagman XTC2 Tilt bike carrier on our 2023 Kia Sportage. So the XTC is a frame-mounted bike carrier, and it's also, would I would consider it to be an entry-level carrier. Uh, this is going to basically attach at the frame and your wheels to secure your bike to the frame. If you have a nicer paint job or if you have a bike that's uh, carbon fiber, that downward force wouldn't be ideal or a step through bike that could also cause issues as far as how you can secure it. Uh, you may wanna look towards other options. But if those aren't concerns for moving two bikes, uh, this is gonna be one of the better value options that we offer. Uh, so taking a look at how it affects the back of your vehicle, you can see that your license plate is gonna be partially obstructed, especially if you had two bikes on there, as well as the backup camera picking up your bikes. Uh, you can also see you're gonna have a little bit of blockage going on with your tail lights and your back window. So just be aware of that on the back of your Sportage. We're gonna pull the gray button in, being cautious to not get our fingers caught in that track and just remove the hooks entirely to get them out of our way to remove our center support. So from here, we're able to get our bike off of the carrier and now we can take a closer look. Reassemble our hooks. And just to take a quick look, you're gonna have a release here, and that's where you're gonna be able to release the teeth along the track on the inside to raise and lower your hooks. Most guys are gonna just snap into place, and we're gonna lower our mast and use our included pin to secure it to the carrier. Now, with this, it's gonna require me to make a little bit of an adjustment to get everything to lay flat. But once I do, I'm going to slide the pin right in. Our cradles are going to support up to two and a half inch wide tire widths. If you want to change out your hoops to your fat tires that go up to five inches, we also offer uh, the alternative size. As far as another cool thing about the Swagman itself, you're going to have these pins that are going to allow you to fold up the carrier to stow it to reduce how much space you have on the back of the vehicle. So let's see how close we're actually getting to the bumper here. So I have a, about a little shy of 10 inches away from the bumper as far as the closest point. And my farthest point would be right here. And that's right at 21 and a half. Our ground clearance is sitting at 14 inches. So you have pretty good clearance because you have a, a nice three inch rise. And just going from the hoop to the bumper here, you're at right at about three and three quarter inch. Uh, I noticed on our large frame mountain bike that we were actually making right against the plastic here. And they had, our bike also had wider handlebars. So you wanna definitely look over those things to make sure it'll be a fit for the back of your vehicle. We're gonna remove our pin to tilt our carrier. And with the pin removed, we should be able to get our tilt. And even with our carrier in a tilt position, you still come pretty close to the back of the the bottom of your cargo hatch. So you want to be aware of that with your bike. Uh, again, this is a large frame mountain bike, so it may vary depending on the type of bicycle you have. So we're going to take our cradles and we're going to bring them in as close as we can to give ourselves the smallest footprint before we fold up our XTC2. We're going to remove our pin here lift it up and reinsert it and there we are 
And we're gonna do the same over here on the passenger side. The XTC2 folded up takes up so much less space than a lot of other options that are out there. Uh, alternatively, the Hollywood Rack Sport Rider SE is a very similar carrier. Uh, only benefit over that one is going to be the fact that you can support your e-bikes up to 80 pounds, whereas our XTC2 is rated for only 35. However, this is going to be one of the most compact carriers that we have for people that may be limited on, on space. And this has been a look at the Swagman XTC2 Tilt on our 2023 Kia Sportage. Have a great day. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement.